Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your NVIDIA Shield game controller to your Windows machine so you can use it on the RPCS3 emulator. So let me show you the controller right now. You should be seeing that this is the newer version but you can use the older more chunky version as well. Got that one, you know, they both work fine and the process is the same. So you have to use this via Bluetooth. So let me show you what happens when you connect this via wire. Let me open up the setup USB game controllers area. So nothing connected at the moment. I'm going to plug this in via a wire. So this is a micro USB cable. And okay. Oh, we all sync mode, which we don't want. So as you can see, the controller doesn't appear. And even when it does appear, it doesn't actually properly work as a Xbox because it's essentially going to map you as an Xbox controller, as you know, an Xbox controller. So what you want to do is disconnect it from a cable. If you don't want that, you're going to go to your Bluetooth settings. You want to go to add Bluetooth for device. Press this button until this starts flashing. So that is flashing now. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it will. It, that light will flash up in slow as you can see now. Go to Bluetooth and it will appear here. So ignore, you know, this shield device. That's not the one. I've got, you know, an actual shield. So it's this one here, the one with a game controller. So click that. It will connect. It shouldn't take very long. Click done. Okay, there we go. And it should appear down here. So as you can see, it's appeared here. Ignore this one. That's the one we're interested in. If we go to properties, we can actually press the buttons and it will detect them. So it's detecting the right analog stick, the left one, the L3 and R3, it's detecting these buttons. You know, it's, it's detecting everything that we need. And this is start, this is select, this is just an empty button that is a map because you don't need it for a Xbox controller. You know, also a PS3 controller which has the same amount of buttons as an Xbox 360 controller. So now we're good to go. Last step is to open up our PCS3. I will do the update after. Go to pads. And in here, you want to select this drop down, select X input. And when I move these analog sticks, you'll see, let me move this to the left bit, you'll see these move. There you go. Detecting them, you'll detect these two here. Anything that's analog, you can immediately de detect. And you can enable large vibration like that, disable small one, enable it, and do the switch vibration as well. You know, feel free to have, do it however you want. These controls are automatically mapped. You can remap them if you want to. You just click it, and let's say you press that, and it remaps it. But I'm going to remap it back to Y, and you can restore default site here, and you can you know, mess around with dead zones, etc. If you want a bit more flexibility, you could add a profile, create one, and actually remap the controls. Maybe what you could do is map these face buttons onto an analog stick, maybe on some type of game you want to remap it from the ordinary controls, and then maybe you want it just a normal default mode for other games. And if you have multiple devices, this is how you will select. If it doesn't appear, click refresh, pretty much it always does. The important part, make sure you click save, otherwise it will not be uh, you know, configured. So click save. Now let me just launch up a game and show you it working. I have to say, you know, for, for a, an Android streaming box, I know it is from NVIDIA. There was a bit more money behind it and put into this, you know, the NVIDIA Shield. The controller is very nice. So it's usually an afterthought. Like the first one wasn't the best, but this one, especially with this design, you'd think it's it could be a bit uncomfortable. It's actually very comfortable. Like overall, it's a well-designed controller. And it feels like the old 360 controllers, you know, the ones that you feel like if you hit someone, you could kill them. Like, it is a well-built controller. I'm going to turn the volume down. So, as you can see, it is working. And I'll get into the game, move around, mine a bit, and show you it fully working. But there we go. <laughs> That's it. If you want to, you know, if you've already done this part, you can go and play your favorite RPC, I mean, your favorite PS3 game on the emulator. So let me know in the comments which you know game you're looking forward to playing on here 
and you know what is your favorite ps3 game of all time in general so one of my favorites is resistance fallen man love that game most of them as well to launch title loved killzone 2 that came out a little bit later uncharted 1 2 and 3 especially 2 like uncharted 2 one of my favorite games of all time okay so as you can see we can move around do some mining and that's it let me pause so this is start this is select there we go so that is how you connect your nvidia shield game controller to your windows machine for the rpcs3 emulator to play playstation 3 games remember you need bluetooth so if you got a laptop you should be good to go they usually have them built in if you've got a, a desktop if you've just bought it from the store it most likely will have bluetooth if it's a custom build you may need a, a dongle which i bought you know it's just a cheap dongle off amazon you can get one off ebay as well but that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video